Welcome back. Yesterday on MSDNC, this guy Jim Vandehei, he's the co-founder of Axios and a very typical left-wing ideologue who seems to lack any self-awareness. So this guy was on Morning Joe to whine and complain about groups of Trump supporters that are raising a lot of money that they're going to use to expose and discredit all of these Democrat operatives who are posing as journalists. I'm not affiliated with any of those groups, but I definitely count myself among those who have been doing that very thing long before Trump came around. Trump allies are raising about $2 million to target very specifically reporters and editors at the New York Times, the Washington Post, and other mainstream outlets uh, with the stated purpose of trying to discredit uh, these reporters in addition to the institutions. A quick background on Mr. Vandehei, if you don't know who he is. He's a left-wing guy who's been on a lot of left-wing publications like the Washington Post and Politico. Now he just goes around whining that there's people out there criticizing the media as bias and a mouthpiece for the Democrats. His whole shtick is just to never acknowledge any bias and to just demonize the critics. If you watch my channel, you know that's the modus operandi of the Democrat Party media. Watching this, you might be thinking, gee, aren't there a lot of groups that do that very thing against Fox News? Groups like MoveOn.org and Media Matters, just to name a couple. Even Barack Obama spent a lot of time going after Fox News, and he was very open about it, calling it the war on Fox News. Yes, all of these things are true, but you're forgetting the golden rule. It's always different when they do it. Predictably, Vandehei explains away his hypocrisy by simply claiming it's different, saying, What's different here is when you read this fundraising pitch, it is really to go after the individual reporters and really to try and damage their credibility in public. To work with what they call friendly media outlets to get this information into the public sphere during the election to help Trump and to hurt those reporters. This is exactly what Media Matters and MoveOn.org do, except they're trying to get Democrats elected. In fact, this is what the so-called free press has been engaged in ever since I've been really paying attention during the Bush years, and most definitely ever since Trump took office. Polling is showing that these attacks of bias, whether it's mainstream media or social media, continue to stir up the base. You've got a huge segment of the country who doesn't believe a damn thing that any reporter reports right. any longer. They're finding that if they can say bias, 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 that everywhere you look, everything you listen to, everything you read, everything you hear, it's bias. Believe nothing, believe nothing, believe nothing. Instead of addressing the public's distrust of the media that goes back decades, Van de Heij just deflects and paints his media critics as mindless cultists repeating mantra. He's right about one thing, more and more Americans distrust anything that the media has to say. It's funny how the constant lies, double standards, and obvious political bias can hurt your credibility. His implication, obviously, is that Trump somehow created this distrust when you can look at polling and see that it goes back a very long time. How completely deluded do you have to be to sit there whining that people don't trust you while you're actively being deceptive and misleading? Nobody should ever take one journalist or one network's reporting as the unvarnished truth. This time it's being led by the Commander-in-Chief of the United States of America. And he has injected a poison into our system. This is a virus that he has planted well, in our culture that is going to be long-standing. It's been incredibly successful already. Oh, please. If there's any poison or virus that's been planted, it was self-inflicted by hardcore Democrat ideologues like Mike Barnacle here, who's been a Democrat mouthpiece for quite a long time. This guy Barnacle was dismissing critics of the media going back to the George W. Bush years, so it's not like he doesn't know that distrust in the media isn't a new thing. And yet he sits there blaming Trump and dividing the country based on a lie that he knows isn't true. Who would trust a media that purposely edit audio and video footage in order to manufacture outrage? Who would trust a media that so blatantly and obviously parrots Democrat Party talking points on a daily basis? Being deceptive and demonizing your critics will never work because you're always going to have people like me out there to call you on it. If you want to help me to continue holding them accountable, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. Not only will you be helping this channel to survive, but you'll also get access to one exclusive video video every week. I also accept cryptocurrency and PayPal donations. You can find the links in the description and the pinned comment. Thank you.